and welcome to the second part of the tutorial um, this is uh, where we'll be fetching data from the table and then we'll be displaying that as tooltip um, in Google Maps so where we stopped last time was we tried to insert um, three things uh, two things uh, this is something which I knew uh, newly entered so I'll just delete that um, we entered two things that is um, USA and Canada and then we want to show this uh, inside Google Maps with a tooltip right so we'll refresh the page okay this is uh, so we have uh, two pop-ups uh, two markers uh, with uh, pop-ups uh, which are fetched from uh, the database so I'll, I'll show you how that is done so before that I'll just add one more uh, place um, so this is something like um, um, okay, Colorado USA I'll copy and paste this over here and then I'll place another place like um, maybe like I'm not sure what that um, India and then I'm type in India and I'm gonna submit this okay now I'll open this uh, another page that is map.php and uh, this is supposed to display the entire uh, marker so I have a marker on India and it is giving me India as pop-up I have a marker at USA I have a marker at Colorado USA also have a marker at Canada so um, you know if you like if you if you are adding um, test uh, you know places like this so if I just enter this place say Coimbatore so Coimbatore um, Okay, um, so I'll just enter this place, um, and even if if you enter this place over here, then this is automatically comes over here. So that is what we are going to see in this tutorial. Um, yeah, so there it is, India, Coimbatore. Okay, so um, this is uh, also one tutorial that I did earlier. Uh, this is nothing but tooltip uh, tutorial that I did earlier. Now um, here also I'll not be explaining much of the code related to tooltip but I'll be explaining on how is that we can get the data from database and then display the corresponding data inside tooltip. So basically if you see over here the first uh, line of code is MySQL connect statement. The second line of code is uh, MySQ MySQL select statement. We select the database and then here I have said uh, I have uh, I have written error reporting to be zero so that no errors or warnings are displayed uh, because um, you know like uh, we don't want unwanted notices uh, to be displayed so that's it now after that what I've done is I've executed a MySQL query which uh, which will select uh, from the table called values there's nothing but this va this table over here uh, where we have inserted different um, latitude longitude and descriptions and it will select uh, that um, if you want you can put a limit um, it's always good to put a limit and then um, we are fetching um, that data uh, using using a while while statement inside mysql fetch as work and then each row is 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 imported into this variable which is an array and what this array basically has this uh, this array which is dollar data is going to be a big array with all the latitude and longitude so if I if I try to print our dollar data oops. if I try to print our dollar data what you can see that you can see that um, this is uh, the huge array uh, with uh, with all the latitude and longitude and description that are present inside this table okay so basically what we have is this array and then we have to loop this array to create tooltip for each okay now uh, if, if, I, if I try to explain uh, these lines of codes it's quite simple it's a HTML um, element that I've started over here inside this um, the first script that I've included is jQuery and the second script that I've included is uh, Google Maps API and then I've created a little bit of style over here this is uh, this style is really important because this is uh, how the tooltip is rendered onto the onto the map map so um, this style is really important for the tooltip now I've also given um, another script over here the first bit of code over here that you see over here is actually jQuery no conflict um, the reason why I have uh, 
I have uh, written re no conflict is that uh, this was uh, this was not actually written for this tutorial I have copied the code from one of my project that was actually a Joomla project so we had both a uh, Moo tools which is uh, just like jQuery uh, which is another um, JavaScript framework so uh, there was conflict between jQuery and Moo Mo tools so in order to avoid jQuery Moo tool conflict what we do is we define jQuery no conflict so hereafter um, for all the code that is written beneath this particular no conflict we won't be using dollar instead we will be using dollar jq now the reason for writing no conflict is is, is that um, say if we want to write if so, say if you are writing jake dollar document dot ready um, both moo tools as well as jquery uses dollar so you know we will not be specifically saying um, this dollar is, is is related to jQuery. So, so in order to specifically say that this this is for jQuery, what we define is, we say first of all that, um, you know, don't make any conflict. Uh, instead of dollar, we'll be using this particular variable. So, um, that is how we define jQuery no conflict. So, first of all, I have defined jQuery no conflict, and then uh, um, I have written the document dot ready function over here. And inside the document dot ready function, I'm calling initialize function, which is nothing but um, which initializes uh, Google Maps. And then I have uh, initialized this particular um, function um, where I have created a variable over here. Sender lat long. Sender lat long is nothing but um, it is uh, the it is a latitude and longitude that oops. Um, it is a latitude and longitude that is used to center the map. So I have um, I have given some random um, center latitude. You can give whatever you want; doesn't matter. Then I've, I'm I've, I'm designing an array. Um, I mean I'm defining an array, and this array will basically hold the the type of map I want. So I say uh, I want a map with a zoom level two and with a center which is defined over here. So the map will have a center with this latitude and then map type id is going to be the kind of id that i want so if i want a um, google roadmap type so i can say roadmap if i want uh, uh, say like um, um, satellite view i can define that over here uh, depending upon what kind of map you want you can set this uh, my option array and then after creating that my option array we define or we call uh, google maps um, and tell Google Maps that this is where I want uh, to render my map. That is nothing but uh, map canvas ID. So we say document dot get element by ID uh, map canvas. So this will um, get the map rendered onto this particular ID. And uh, the type of map is, uh, is specified in this particular my options. Uh, we don't need this thing. I um, so we'll just delete that. And then we we from here whatever you see is it's inside a loop um, inside a for each loop so what we do over here is uh, nothing but we are taking the data that is actually created over here and then we are uh, looping that data and then creating marker and uh, the corresponding uh, function that are required for showing tooltip um, inside this for each loop so over here you can see um, first thing that I've defined over here is my lat long so my lat long is basically what um, the latitude and longitude of each marker so this variable instead of giving a if giving a value over here what I have done is I've echoed out a marker lat I've echoed out this uh, this this value that is marker lat uh, marker lat so marker will have this value will be nothing but um, the latitude of the first um, place and then in the next loop it will have the latitude of the second place and the, in, the, in the third loop this will have the latitude of the fourth place and so on and this is uh, will have the latitude longitude of uh, the the place so likewise in every loop we have a different map my lat long set using this loop and then this part is actually the tooltip that is actually rendered um, inside marker so over here you can see that I have uh, I have in the content area um, I have just given um, another PHP variable this is going to be a marker of destination or um, the one that is present inside a table that is uh, 
this uh, one so this will come over there and uh, yeah that's it um, and over here you can see that I have de defined an image um, this is um, just just an image um, I've taken from one of my one of our our developments uh, one of our our, our sites um, so we have just um, created that and after that what I've done is instead of creating marker underscore one a marker underscore two what I've done is I have taken the ID of uh, the 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 ID over here and then appended to add that to to the marker so so in the first loop this will take marker underscore 11 in the second loop it will take marker underscore 12 and 14 15 16 and so on so every marker will be corresponding to its ID so marker underscore the ID number will be the marker name so I got I, I hope that you got it right I hope that is clear to you okay now when and and I have also created a, a key called description and inside that description we give this content string which we have already defined and my lat long is uh, is again another thing that we have already defined over here now the next thing that we need to do is um, to create event listeners so event listeners um, is created over here basically what we have is three kinds of event listeners um, first event listener is for uh, showing the tooltip second event listener is uh, for hiding the tooltip when the mouse out and the third event listener is for clicking um, for for clicking for uh, for you know like when when somebody clicks on a marker it has to go to the corresponding page so um, over here if you look you don't have uh, you have you have created the content string you have created the title also but you have not created the link the reason is because we have not given enough we have not um, created a column called link if we had created that then we, we could have replaced this part uh, with the link but we for the time being we'll we'll just uh, you know get along with this um, you know when you create that you can actually create another column with a link and then you can put that over here uh, just like the one that I've done over here so that the link will also be dynamic an image again if you want to put an image you can put another column over here which will hold the image name and then you can give the corresponding URL over here using uh, PHP now once you have done that um, you can add event listeners over here and we are going to append an event listener with marker underscore um, the ID marker ID so this is again going to be a variable so every time we loop we attach an event listener to marker underscore 11 so, uh, so marker underscore 11 will be having an event listener 12 14 15 16 everything will be having an event listener associated with it so um, this event listener listener is nothing but um, it will get uh, the description and it will show it as a tooltip now uh, similarly we have another tooltip which is um, I mean another even listener which works on mouse out um, this will uh, hide uh, the tooltip and uh, this um, even listener is nothing but a click one so when somebody clicks on that it will get the link and uh, open in a new tab now uh, that's all um, you know this is kind of a little bit um, you know the code looks a little bit ugly but the thing is that if you if you if you can if you can create tooltip um, as described in my previous tutorial then looping this and creating and you know getting values from a MySQL database won't be that difficult so um, that's it thank you for watching this tutorial have a great day bye